Hi, this is Angela from Extra Special Teaching and I'm here to give you a tutorial on how you can take a border and change it into a frame to use in some of your teaching printables. So the first thing I have here is um, I'm working on this file right here and it's a game I'm making and for my screen uh, my cover here I want to add a frame to it except the problem is the border or that I have is just a border it's not a um, frame so if I use this and install it you can see it's just a border around it but I need to have some other kind of space in the middle of this so that I can put um, writing or text on it so this isn't going to work for me so here's a tutorial to show you how to change this into a frame instead of just a border so the website we're going to use is a free website and it's called pixlr.com and if you click on it this is the first screen and what you want to do is go to open photo editor and you're going to go to open an image from your computer and I'm going to open the exact same border that I already had and I'm going to use the um, .png file this is the one that's transparent and I'm going to open it okay and so this is the actual border and you can see there's nothing in the middle um, because we use the .png file. Now I'm also going to do is I'm going to open the um, image of my background that I'm going to use because I want to pick some colors off of it. So I'm going to go back down here and find the background image I had. Sorry, my computer's running a little slow today. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to pick some, uh, pick one of the colors off of the background image that I want to use. So what I'm going to do is if you go down to this little dropper right here, this is the color picker tool, and I'm going to click on it. And I'm just going to go over here and click on the dark blue that I want to use. And if you see, it turns out right here. And I'm also going to want white, which there isn't a white on here. So if I click on the main color, I can um, pick the white that I want because I'm also going to use white and I'll hit OK. So now the thing we're going to do is we need, I'm going to make this middle part be white because I'm going to write text on it. So if you go to the paint bucket tool here, click on it and it's going to put the color that's right here, the main color and I'm going to click on the middle of this and it's going to fill it in with white. Okay. Now I also want to do this inside little border here, the dark blue color. So I'm going to go back down here and click on the dark blue so that it goes up here and it's the main color and then I'm just going to use my paint bucket to fill that in and now this is the frame that I want to use so since it's good I'm going to go to file and I'm going to save it um, I'm going to give it another name so it doesn't re save over my last one I'm going to put blue hit OK that's not where I want to save it so I'm going to change it now my image is saved now I can go back to my presentation I'm going to insert a picture and you'll see it's shown up here I'll insert it and change it oh wrong one I'm going to put the sizing where I want it. And then since it's on the top, I don't want it on the top. I'm going to go over here to um, size rotation and ordering. I can go to a range and I'm going to send it backwards 
until it goes where I want it. Okay, now you can see I've taken the border that I wasn't able to use previously and now I've made it into a frame that I can use and I can put text on and use it in my printable. The only thing this won't work on is if you had a border that was like this. Let me open another one. If I had a border that was like this, to see how it wasn't completely enclosed, I wouldn't be able to fill that in and keep um, the paint or the color specifically in um, just inside it to make a, into a frame. So for this to work, you definitely want to use it on um, frames that are completely or borders that are completely closed in like this. Okay, so I hope that helps, and I hope you're able to use it. Thank you.